Welcome to Unit 5, Lesson 5, Representing Subtraction. We are going to start today by completing the warm-up. So, the warm-up says, consider the equation 2 plus 3 equals 5. Here are some more equations. Using the same numbers that express the same relationship in a different way. So, it's still 2 plus 3 equals 5, but it's showing us 3 plus 2 equals 5. 5 minus 3 equals 2, and 5 minus 2 equals 3. For each equation, write two more equations using the same numbers that express the same relationship in a different way. Pause the video and take the time to do that now. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look at this. So we have 9 plus negative 1 equals 8. So we could rewrite that as 8 plus negative 1 equals 9. Or no, sorry, that would be 8 minus negative 1. Eight minus negative one equals nine. We could say that eight minus nine equals negative one. All right, and then we have negative eleven plus x equals seven. So we can take our ending seven minus x equals negative eleven. Or we could also write it as uh, 7 minus negative 11 equals x. All right, let's move on to subtracting with number lines. So here is an unfinished number line diagram that represents a sum of 8. How long should the other arrow be? So if we want to get up to a sum of 8, how much more do we need to go? That's right, we do need to go up 5. So we would draw our arrow, and the other arrow would be 5 units long. For an equation that goes with this diagram, my writes 3 plus the unknown equals 8. Tyler writes 8 minus 3 equals the unknown. Do you agree with either of them? I want you to take a moment, pause, and think about this question and write your answer. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look at my's. So if we were to do mys, she says 3 plus the unknown amount equals 8. And yes, that would work because 3 plus the unknown amount we have added here is going to get us to 8. But let's see, Tyler says 8 minus 3. So we're subtracting 3. Doo -doo -doo. 8 minus 3 would bring us to the unknown. So either way, we would be able to find out our unknown value. So you could agree with either of them. C, what is the unknown value and how do you know? Well, we have our unknown value right here in this space right in between. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That went too far. Four, five, eight. And if we were to add that up together, we would be able to figure out our unknown amount. So we know we have one, two, three, four, five between three and eight. So our unknown value is five. And that's because the space between 8 
and 3 is 5. We could also write it like this, 8 at the top with our two numbers coming off. We have 3 and 5. All right, let's take a look at the next page. So here are two more unfinished diagrams that represent sums. The first diagram is right here, and it wants to know what equation would my write if she used the same reasoning as before. Hmm. So looking at this, we're going to have to find how to get to the 8 again. So I'm going to highlight it right here for you. This is our ending point again. So we're at negative 3 and we need to get up to 8. So let's go ahead and draw that in. So we're going to bounce back this way. And how many spaces would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have to add eleven. Now, letter A is asking, what equation would my write if she used the same reasoning as before? Well, if she used the same reasoning, what number did she start with? Yeah, negative three. Plus the unknown amount to get to eight. What equation would Tyler write if he used the same reasoning? Well, let's take a look back at what Tyler did. So if we go over here, Tyler wrote 8 minus 3 equals blank. So we took the highest number and subtracted the lowest number. So if we did it Tyler's way, our highest number is 8 minus negative 3 equals question mark. And we already found out how long the other arrow should be, 11 units, because we did that first. Now, what number would complete each equation? Be prepared to explain your reasoning. So what number would complete each equation? That's right, 11 units. because that's the distance between negative 3 and 8. All right, let's look at the second diagram. So the second diagram we're starting at positive 3 and going down to negative 8. So what equation would my write if she used the same reasoning as before? Well, my always added the missing amount. So we would start with our 3 plus that unknown is going to get us our negative 8. And Tyler wrote it as a subtraction equation. So in this case, it would be 3 minus negative 8 equals unknown. Hmm. No, I don't think that one's quite right. Hang on. All right, so um, that was actually right. So it would be um, 8 minus negative 3 equals the unknown. Letter C is asking, how long should the other arrow be? Well, we're going from 3 all the way down to negative 8. So let's go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our arrow is going to be 11 units. And letter D asks, what number would complete each equation? Hmm. Well, our 11 units is going which way? It's going down. So that would be negative. So we would need 
11 to complete the equation. Because the arrow is pointing to the right, to the left. The number is 11 because the other arrow is 11 units long but pointing to the right. And number three, draw a number line diagram for negative eight minus negative three. What is the unknown number and how do you know? So since these are both negative, I'm just gonna go out to negative eight. Uh, let's pick a different color. I'm gonna go out negative eight to zero. And then I can go in between. All right, so negative one, negative two, negative three, hmm. negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So we're at negatives eight. We're gonna draw our arrow starting from here. And we're going to go all the way down to negative 8. And then, because we're subtracting negative 3, it's the same thing as saying we're adding negative 3. Or we're adding 3, so we would go the opposite way. So the unknown number in this situation would be 5. Oops wrong one, would be five because that is where our arrow, when we add that three back in, lands. All right, let's turn the page. So this one is a matching activity that says we can add instead. So it says to match each diagram to one of these expressions. So we have three plus seven, three plus negative seven, three minus seven, and three minus negative seven. So I'm gonna have you take a few minutes and answer those questions. See if you can match them up. So pause the video and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at letter A. So we have three here. Oops, that's the highlighter. Doo -doo. We have three here, and then it looks like we're adding seven. So this one would be three plus seven. Letter B, right here we can see we have the dot for three, and it gave us one of the arrows. And we have it going from zero down to negative seven. So we had three and we're subtracting negative seven. So it's showing us the value of negative seven. So this one is three minus negative seven. Letter C. We have our three and we're adding negative seven. So this one would be three plus negative seven. And our last one, letter D. So it, we have our dot at our three and we're subtracting seven. So we would have three minus seven.
So which of the expressions in the first question has the same value? So which of these has the same value? So our ones that have the same value our 3 plus 7, because we know that's going to equal 10, as well as 3 minus negative 7 is going to be equal to 10. Because when we have this minus and this negative, we know this just turns into a positive. So it would be 3 plus 7 to give you the same answer, which means the other set would have the same value. So 3 plus negative 7 and 3 minus 7. So when we're taking 7 away from 3, so if we started here at 3 and we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. That would put us at negative 4. And this is the same thing as saying 3 minus 7, which would also put us at negative 4. All right, let's turn the page. So it wants us to complete each of these tables. So the value is the final answer. The expression is what you're solving. You can use a number line when you're doing this to help you figure this out. So pause the video now and take a moment to fill in these tables. All right, welcome back. Let's do this together. So we have eight plus negative eight, which those two numbers would cancel each other out and bring us to zero. Eight minus eight, so we had eight of something, we took eight away, would still be zero. We have eight plus negative five, which is the same as saying eight minus five, because we're taking five away, that would leave us with three. Eight minus five would also be three. 8 plus negative 12. So you have 8 of something and you're adding negative 12 to it. So you would have negative 4 left. 8 minus 12. You have 8 of something and you're taking 12 away. You would have negative 4 left. Let's look at the second table. So negative 5 plus 5. So we're starting at negative 5 and we're adding 5 to it our value would be zero. Negative five minus negative five. Ooh, remember that is a double negative, so that would become a addition. Negative five plus five would be zero. Negative five plus nine is four. Negative five plus, uh, nope, negative five minus negative nine is again, that's a double negative, so this would be four. Negative five plus two is negative three. Negative five minus negative two would again be negative three because that's that double negative. So what do you notice about this table or these tables? What do you notice about these tables? So something that I really hope you have noticed is that subtracting the number is the same as adding the opposite. So we added eight plus negative eight, that's the same as eight minus eight. So subtracting a number is the same as adding the opposite.
if I were you, I would put a big old star next to that. That's something you're going to want to look back to and remember. All right. And that is the end of lesson five. I will see you next time for lesson six.